they're coming. I have a scary experience. Anything odd that had ever happened before this has always been checked out by my dad army. But this time, I don't know what got into us. My son got the terrifying experience of seeing the supernatural. My children slept with me and their dad, as they normally do sometimes. This particular night, we slept in this order. My daughter, me, my husband, and son. We usually left the door open a crack. My daughter slept next to the door because that was the closest to the AC. The entrance of the door was only about three feet away from the edge of our bed. In the mid-morning hours, about seven to eight, I woke up to my little sister's voice whispering loudly for my daughter, Mai, through the door crack. Mai, Mai, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, Mai, wake up, wake up, Mai, Mai, if you don't wake up, wake up, I'm gonna go with you, wake up, 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 I woke up, but kept my eyes closed. I was so tired, but I could still hear her voice. I was wondering, what's your doing here? The very last whisper sounded really upset though. So my eyes popped open. I thought, oh, that must have been a dream. It felt so real. I peeked outside just to double check, but there wasn't anyone. I got comfortable again, but something was bothering me. Something just didn't sit right. I just felt really bothered. So I called my husband, John. John. Mm, what? He answered sleepily. Because of the odd feeling, I intentionally asked, did you hear that? He then told me, with his eyes still closed but very confident of what he heard, told me, Yeah, you're always calling out for mine. I curled up tightly under my blanket, eyes wide open. Oh my god, what the fuck? My little sister Yer was not here. I told him, Yer isn't here, John. So who the fuck was that? Are you sure? It was her voice, I heard it too. She outside? He asked as he peeked through the curtain which shows our front door. Nobody was there. Yer was still a kid. She would never just come over to my home by herself. I started freaking out because they had called for my daughter. We both started freaking out because we both heard that voice and recognized it. Then my cell phone alarm started ringing. I had left it out in the living room. I asked for him to go get it. He was being a chicken and said, Hell no. We started arguing. I tried to calm down and think that it was nothing, but I felt that I needed to hold my daughter. My three-year-old son was slowly stirring and waking up. I told him, Baby, go get mommy's phone really quick, as I shot his dad a very dirty look. My son opened the door wider and just taken no more than three steps before turning back around, almost in a smooth turn. His face was pale, white, and he was uttering croaking noises from his throat with his arms held out. He was barely walking, like a zombie walk, breathing in and out fast. He was just almost scared to death. I reached out for him, and he stiffly crawled onto my bed. I held him, and I apologized. I said I was so, so sorry. I started yelling at my husband that he should have gone, while he was also yelling at me that I should have gone also. Finally, he got up and went while I was trying to calm down my baby to breathe and relax. Finally, he got up and went. Well, finally, he got up and went while I was trying to calm down my baby to breathe and relax. My husband said there's nothing and shut off my phone. He asked what my son saw. My son pointed out there into the living room and was able to stutter out that he saw something. My heart dropped. We asked. What did you see? A mouse? He shook his head no. He got up and showed us that the creature looked like an old woman or something. Its legs were crooked backwards, and its arms were held forward but crooked downwards. That was when he went out there and saw it run towards the bathroom. My husband went to the bathroom. Nothing. My husband then went to go check out the bedroom outside and in the closets. Still nothing. While he was doing all of that, my son started cupping his ears, saying, I can hear them, Mommy. I can hear them. I said, Who? Them. Them who? They said they're coming. And he turned to the bathroom. Oh my god. Once again, me and my husband started freaking out again. Obviously, we got the fuck out of there. 
these days my son doesn't remember it so I'm glad but my heart still aches that on that day he saw something he didn't need to see because me and his dad were not considerate or brave enough to take care of what we needed to do